So during the season one of Dungeon Crawlers, one of the most surprising things was the popularity of the Advanced Hero Quest game. I didn't think it would be. I didn't think people would be interested in it. So I've decided to get a bit more Advanced Hero Quest on the channel and play. And during the game, I sort of mentioned I think the rules really lend themselves more to solo play with all the charts and stuff. Perhaps it would be better if I had more people playing it. Might be more enjoyable and that I knew the rules more because it's the first time I played it. So if once you know the rules more, you can sort of won't have to refer to the charts constantly because you know them. But anyway, I thought I'd um, play it solo. Uh, and that's what this is going to be, a series of videos of me playing it solo. But before I wanted to start, I wanted to get a few extra scathing because the box doesn't come and it comes with scathing. Unlike HeroQuest, it had everything self-contained. It really didn't. It was that Games Workshop wanting you to buy more miniatures. Not a bad thing. It's a good business practice, really. But yeah, so I've got some more uh, Skaven models now. So I thought, before we start, I'll just go over them quickly. Uh, so if I... Here's the box. Um, what I've done as well is I've made some inserts. So you can see here to keep it all neat and tidy. Uh, but the game we're going to play is the solo uh, quest that's in here. Let me turn here. Um, this is what we're going to be playing. Uh, the solo rules. But there's a quest in here somewhere. Lost it. Probably on this page. Uh, somewhere in here. Yeah, there it is. Tabora's Bay. Um, and in here, you've got three levels, and in the uh, quest room, level one, you've got an assassin, level two, you've got a plague monk and a warp weaver, three, you've got a plague sensor bearer, a warlord, and a sorcerer. So, I kind of want to get some models to try and represent them. I don't have them all yet. I might try and get hold of a sensor bearer soon, but if I don't, I'm going to proxy with what I've got. But also, when you come to the uh, lair matrix, but champions, sentries, and warriors are standard. Uh, specialist, you're going to have a night runner, gutter runner, poison wind, glob of deer, uh, warp fire, furrow team, and the Jezreel team. Um, and so, what I'm going to do is, I know I've got some models. Um, I don't have a Jezreel team, and I don't have a warp fire team. So, I'm going to ignore them. So, they're on a result of 11 and 12. So. I do have a poisoned wind blob of deer, so between 10 and 12 would be that. Gutter runners, I'm going to use the death runners from Silver Towers, two of those, got those. And the night runner, I've got an assassin model. So that assassin model from the level one quest room, and this will double up. So what I've got is got a few extra models. Um, here's the assassin. So he's going to double up as. An assassin and a night runner if ever he comes up. So I got him. That's for the level one room. The Globadier dude I got. Um I didn't paint this one, it come painted, so I'm just gonna leave it. His backpack was missing, not too worried about that. He's gonna be a Globadier guy. Um I've got this guy, which is gonna be a plague monk and a sorcerer, if ever they come up. Uh autofocus doesn't want to focus. I don't think I've got it set to autofocus, so Hopefully you can see that. Um, also, I got this chap here, which will be a uh, the warlord. He has a gun, but doesn't matter. And these I got, and these aren't Games Workshop. These are just called Rat Men. But two of these, and these are going to be the champions. So I just add a bit of a, a bit of variety to it. So that's my explanation of the models I've got. And I said. Um, some will double up as others. Uh, so, but I think I've got pretty much got it sussed. Uh, campaigns got fine now. So again, yeah. So got the assassin, got that plague monk model. Warp weaver will probably be that. What I said was going to be the warlord. Plague monk sense bearer. I'll probably use. Oh, I don't know. I'll probably, yeah, you know, just once it gets level three, either have the models or proxy some others. As long as we know what's going on. So, yeah, this is nice and organized so I can 
quickly get access to stuff. Just made this quickly. Uh, underneath here is just a, a nothing spare come tray for if I ever get more models or I do want to get the expansion or maybe even make it myself. But yeah, so that's it. I think we're going to. That's enough for the intro. I think we think we might as well uh, get set up and get playing. So, okay, we're all set up, um, pretty much. Um, I've got paper, pen to do mapping. Um, I have got a sheet printed out of my characters and the henchmen. Yes, I should have got one of the scave and then maybe the table to save flipping through the book. And I'm using the GM tokens for fate and for character as my fate tokens to remind it how much got left. I thought that might help out. And we are playing the uh, solo game in this, and it's called Torbo's Bane, I believe. Er and yeah so it's run slightly different to the normal game but i thought we'd have a go at playing this solo so here we go let's have some lore first always good to have lore so the city of tobor uh, is under siege the city fathers are in disarray and the whole community is in, Im in imminent danger of collapse the reason behind this disaster is a reason rise in power of a nearby skaven clan which is now led by a powerful Skaven sorcerer, Canker Claw Darkheart. The Skaven, a swelling tide of vicious killers that burst out of Torobo sewers in the early hours, have imposed an involuntary curfew on the city's inhabitants, who can no longer walk the streets without fearing for their lives. The foul creatures swarm in their thousands as they spill into the now empty streets. Canker Claw Darkheart is at the heart of their ranks. The city fathers have resorted to their last option, an emergency council. At an emergency council, they decide that they must summon outside help. They have offered rich rewards to any heroes that can aid them. And I have answered their call. So, uh, the heroes. The hero party consists of four heroes, four men at arms, and one sergeant. The henchmen have been provided free by the city fathers to aid in their quest. We don't have to pay for upkeep. If we uh, go between, we have in between expeditions. But the the object of the quest is to kill Cankerclaw, the Skaven sorcerer, the mastermind behind the Skaven's attack on Taboro, and thus prevent the clan's attacks on the city. After exploring three dungeon levels, the heroes finally find Cankerclaw and kill him, or they'll die in the attempt. If they defeat him and return to the surface, the heroes win the game. Unlike normal advanced hero quests, the heroes only have one expedition in to find Canker Claw. There simply is enough time to mount the second expedition, so I can't leave the dungeon anyway. I've got to do this in one hit. So, alright, okay. Uh, it does mean I'll receive two extra fate points for these characters um, if I play another game with them. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, so we use Skaven Matrix from the Shattered Amulet to roll up monsters in dungeon. Uh, standard thing, if the heroes escape from a group scaven, the remaining ones return to the ruined passage where they're encountered. Um, hold on. I've got an imminent cat coming in. There we go. Just to save him. He'll probably still jump on the table anyway. Um, yeah, um... Each level of the dungeon only has one quest room. If the heroes carry on exploring the level, any quest rooms rolled up later are replaced by layers. Each quest room has a set of stairs down to the next level. The monsters rolled on the quest matrix have one or more of these special characters. Um, where did I read? Dungeon layout. Yeah, here it goes. It won three levels. Each level is random using normal rules. Except any stairs down that are found in a passage are actually stairs out of the dungeon. The stairs down are only found in the first quest room discovered. Okay. So, uh, that's it. I think that's pretty much it for the uh, rules here for moving monsters around. Uh, and rules for cats. Let's have, a, let's have a look at the heroes anyway. So I'm taking the heroes, pre-generated heroes from the box. So we have over here, and each hero is going to have one 
henchmen each apart from one who has the sergeant but let's have a look so our heroes are we've got uh Torillion Leafstar he is an elf uh, he has a longbow and sword we have Magnus the Bright he's a human wizard he has a dagger but spells and we're going to take uh, he has four components so that means he can have four spells and he's going to take two flame to death which components fire dust and two flames of the phoenix which is a phoenix feather uh, flame to death will cause a fireball and kill monsters incoming cat and flames of the phoenix will heal characters he has two offensive two healing so and we're going to need healing if we can't go through the expedition excellent that shaking of the table is my cat and uh come to join us where is he he can, can't see him on oh yeah he can he's just this is a really dark camera brilliant that's going to be great for you guys anyway uh then we have the dwarf or which is called Swen Amahel. He is armed with a warhammer. And lastly, we have Heinrich. What's his surname? Heinrich Lowen. Human warrior armed with a sword. But he's going to get the sergeant. Now, you've probably seen this already in a video, but I've painted all my henchmen so they're in coloured outfits that match the warrior they're with. So he's in green match the elf he's in yellow and red to match the fire uh bright wizard he's in blue to meet match my dwarf and these other two are in white and red to match my uh warrior so let's get them set up uh here uh I keep forgetting the cameras so only a hero can explore i don't think a henchman can explore so we have to put a hero up front i'm keeping the wizard at the back uh, as well as the elf, I think, and then each of the henchmen goes with them. In the middle will be the dwarfy, and his henchman, and my warrior henchman next. Excellent cat, that's just a brilliant view. So we have that. Which you can't really see because my cat's in the way. We have that as our our setup. Oh, bright wizards fell over. I think <laughs> I think we're pretty much ready. We have a cat got Skaven, so he can. All right. So yeah, that's so that's it. So we're gonna go to. Uh, the hero player phase this is in exploration mode so I can move 12 so I'm gonna move there and stop him I'm gonna move him there okay, well, I've done I'm going slightly wrong with my order so I wanted Heinrich here and move all these up like right, so uh, the reason the elf's at the back just in case anything tries to sneak up on me he's got a bow Wizard just at the back because at the moment I don't really want to use him on this level. He only has four spell components. We can't go back up to buy more. I think finding stuff like that is really not good here. So uh, we've moved up. We're up to here. Uh, on this dark camera here. So we're up here. Uh, and so we're going to go to. Oh, I forget what this phase is called. Exploration. So we're going to generate the dungeon. So we're going to go with Heinrich first. He's going to explore that way. Uh, so it's a 1d12 for two, which is just one passage section. That's good. Any wandering monsters that we rolled up, we'll probably do that later on. Um, play some later on and get the dungeon set first. So features, it's two dice. I want to get above a four, really. So that's a 10, 20. That's got to be good. Oh, cat. You tap. Oh, oh. Never play games with your cat. Cat. Tow. Tow. That's it. Face this way. Uh, he probably wants some treats. We'll do that in a minute. All right, so 20. Two doors. Okay. Uh, these doors were renowned for being bust, so. 
Uh, I forget how you play doors. I think it is just room doors. Uh, yeah, it's really pass passage doors. All passages lead from doors leading to rooms. So there's going to be two rooms here. I'm going to put them like that. A short little passage. So all passages, all passage doors from passages lead to rooms. So that's good. So hopefully we can find this lair, this quest room, really quick. But what's at the end of this passage? So, oh no, it's two dice. Seven fifteen. A left turn. Uh, so a left turn is going to be my left, which is this way. Probably your right, but that's my left. So just in case it looks weird, not that. Come towards you, boy. All right, now let's generate. Uh, excellent. Let's generate. That's that passage there. And now let's generate coming this way. So two one dice. One, it's just a single passage. That's excellent. That's a nice short T junction. We like that. As long as there's not loads of monsters here. I don't really want to get into a fight this early on. 15 again. 15 is nothing. We like nothing. And how does it end? 17 ends in another left turn. All right. Uh, would that be that be a right turn, wouldn't it, from their point of view? So that'd be like that. <laughs> there we go. So we have we have that. There's a going to go this way. <laughs> it's going to go this way, but we're not worried about that because we've got doors to open. So that is the exploration phase, but now we go on to the GM phase, which this is where, uh, I think that's right, isn't it? So please, if I'm getting this wrong, let me know in the comments, because I do really want to carry on playing this, and uh, I think it is, isn't it? Hero phase, exploration phase, where we dungeons generated, GM phase, yeah. So... Please forgive me, I'm going to be flipping through this quite a bit until we try and get going. Because in the solo, the GM phase is slightly different. Normally in the game, the GM would uh, pull out some uh, tokens, in this case a trap, but we're not, we don't have that. So what we have is a dice, 1 to 12, and a 1 is a trap, and 12 wandering mon monsters. So, and we get a 10. So that means nothing happens, which is lovely. So we're back to the exploration turn. So Heinrich's going to come here. And he's going to open this door. He's going to come. You can't really see, it's like a cluster mess here of all my guys. So he is going to open this door, do that, and we'll generate that in the exploration turn, don't you? Once I get going with this, it will be smoother, I promise. Room doors, uh, past doors, whenever heroes explore a new passage, whether it starts from a junction or from a door, we roll the table, so... So, so what we're going to do is we're going to move up now. So that's. I guess I can try and. Problem with this, it, these doors from Hero Quest, uh, Advanced Hero Quest, is they're very delicate and mine all broken pretty much. So try and do that. Because what's going to happen now is I want to get him in. Right, him in. Him. I just want a little reshuffle. Uh, now we want to get the dwarf here. So I do want to get the elf in here, so we can get a bow shot in. And what I want to do is kind of maybe you'll probably see me do this. I might house rule it a wee bit. 
because it's renowned for this. Well, you probably saw it if you watched our dungeon crawlers where you just stand in the door, let the monsters come to you and fight them one at a time. I don't want to do that, I want to get into the room and have a bit of excitement, don't we little boy? And I'm just going to check the time, I want to see what needs to be... Uh, not to overrun too much. Um, okay, so now that's that. We are on to the exploration phase again, but this time we are generating rooms. So it's 1d12. What I really want to see is 11 or 12. Then we found the quest room in the first room and the first level's been P easy. Nine. No, we get a lair. And it's a large lair. So we don't need these bits. We got the small rooms here. The rotating one. Uh, probably right at the bottom. So it's a large lair. So how should we have this going? Which one should we have first? Uh, I think there's only two large layers, isn't there? Three. So uh, uh, we have. Let's make them get nicer decorated as we go down. So we have the rubbish one just with that. Slightly more decorated than the bottom of the layer. We're going to have the really nice one. So we're going to put this in. And we're going to put it in so it goes level like that. Okay. So that's the uh, lair. Lairs are the homes of groups of monsters who uh, can colonize the dungeons. DM should roll on the layers matrix for the dungeon to find out what sort of monster are here and how many of them there are. Because really what you want to do if you plan this is print out print a load of these out. So now I'm referring to the quest of the Shattered Am Amulet quest for the layers matrix and I'm hoping just to get a one. Two, that can't be that bad either. Two warriors and one champion. Okay. So that's great. I get to use my new champion models. I got was it two warriors and a champion? Did I say? That's nice and easy. I should be able to just mob them. Two warriors and one champion. So for now, I'm going to put them here. I just want to get them on the board. That's the three, and then we can sort of sort out later on where they go. Because uh, room doors, I've generated a room and its contents. The leader should roll the dice and sort the room door. See if there's a room door here. Uh, there is not. Get okay, a one. There is not. Um, so what I'm going to do. I haven't mapped this yet, so I'm going to start mapping it. So we got. Yeah, frilling TV. If this was TV, so we got that. Injunction. Got that. 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 A door here, and it's a large room here. Two scale, one champ. There we go. I haven't done my mapping just in case, you never know. Get it done now. Um, so that's it. So now we go back to the solo quest. I dare say, once you play this a lot, you get to know. Know the rules a bit more. I don't. So, uh, place of monsters. You can place monsters any order you want, as long as the monsters are armed and within range. Uh, the first monster must be placed on a square as close as possible to the party. Make it attack. See, this is where it goes wrong because it wants you to place as close as possible, which means you'd have to place. Uh, you'd have to place, say, this warrior right in the doorway here, which we don't want really. Uh, so I'm just going to play some, I'm going to do a bit of house ruling and we're just going to play some right 
Yeah, so what I've done is I've changed the order a bit. And we placed them there, like so. Uh, and now it's the GM phase. Because this in the exploration is now in combat phase after this, but I want to do the GM phase. I think you still do that. Yep, fine, nothing happens anyway. Um, so in combat phase, and I think the players go first. Six play, yeah. So we go first. So this should hopefully, hope. I'm doing this to make it a bit more exciting so we're not in the door. So I'm going to move Heinrich in here, and he's going to attack this guy. So Heinrich can move. This is where their speed comes in, eight. Uh, henchman can move eight. Uh, uh, sergeant moves eight. Henchman moves seven. So let's get the sergeant in as eight. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, let's get this guy in. Who's going to move? What did I say? Seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, and the elf. He's got. He's going to move nine. So he's going to come straight behind Heinrich because he's got a bow, so he can shoot through him into the champion. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yes, okay, seven. Get him. We can't fight diagonally. I don't think in this game. Let's get. I think that'll do. So I don't think I can get any in. Swain's gonna get six. He's gonna one, two, three. So what we're gonna do with these is we're gonna prepare. To be by the other door. So he's gonna be there. I'm going to quickly prepare so we can open this door. Hopefully that will be enough. Uh, Monster's going to move and attack or attack and move. Um, they're all in combat. I'm going to treat this a bit like SPG if they're in combat and they can't move. Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, so we move and then attack. So we're going to attack. I've got to attack. I should have attacked first. So. Let's go with Heinrich, where I move first, so... Um, <laughs> so what I do um, is hand-to-hand -hand combat. Hit roll, I look up the weapon skill of my target, and hand uh, on the hand-to-hand -hand combat section are the attacker's character sheet or monster reference table. Okay, so we go to the Skaven, this is a Skaven champion. And he has a weapon skill, target weapon skill. He has a weapon skill of seven. So what we do, hand-to-hand -hand combat, seven. I need a six or above. According to my sheet, so hand-to-hand -hand target weapon skill, seven. I need six. And do I just roll one dice? Roll a dice, yep, yeah, I do. Six. Come on, we can get above six. Yes! That's good. Uh, Heinrich has four damage dice. So I'm going to need some more D20s. I think the maximum probably going to need is four for this. I'll do as I get two blacks out. Well, that will show up on camera, don't they? Yeah, just two blacks. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Always have loads of D20 spare. I'm gonna roll four dice. Um, the damage is uh, critical hits. We've got a 12, I just scored a critical hit, but I haven't. Uh, wing rolls, attacker wins, roll again to see the damage cause. Number of damage dice depends on weapon being used. Um, the right number of dice compared to the toughness of the target. My toughness of my is eight. Okay, and he only has three runes. So three of these get above an eight, I've killed him. 
which they don't. Only two kill him. So I'm going to put this as he's got two wounds on him. So he's got two wounds. Okay, next up was that this furthest man arms here. Uh, so hopefully there's going to be this man at arms into the Skaven and already I'm thinking this is much better just getting into the door so my man at arms as I say it's just a normal Skaven warrior so it's weapon skill is 6 his toughness is 1 down as well so my man at arms Sixes to wound. Yep, he does. He has four damage dice. Uh, and so I need sixes or above. One, two, three. So that is one dead Skaven here. Which is annoying because there's another man at arms there now that can't do anything. I guess that's why you move them one at a time and not all at the same time. We've got to remember that. Uh, next up is this man at arms on this Skaven. Uh, so one dice, above a six. No, he messes up. Now the elf. Uh, what skill is. I think the elf's going to go for. <laughs> For the champion, he's going to fire bow straight through Heinrich. Go for the champion. Excellent. Cat's gonna. What are you doing, cat? What are you doing? That's the dice tray. <laughs> oh, he just loves being involved with the cat. Uh, he's moved over. You can't see him. So, yeah, Heinrich. Um, the elf's gonna gonna shoot straight through into into there. I think. Um, so yeah, a toughness of eight. So my weapon skill eight. So he only needs a six with his bow. So I've just realised I've got d20s out. Oh, oh my god, they're not d12 d20s, are they? The d12s. Um, arr, I needed d12s. <laughs> I'm just rolling d20s. No one have been hitting like a goodness. I bet people are screaming at me. I apologise for that. I'm not taking that back because I can't remember what I've done. <laughs> What an idiot! I was looking at the dice thinking, why are they uh, a different colour? Still, I have loads of D12s as well. So I used to play D&D just recently. Okay, so... Uh, oh, he woofs it totally. Okay. What a loser. Oh, hang on, there's range combat. Range. One, three. Oh, do you hear? Oh, that's different. I did hit that. Oh, let's do it. I can't remember. Let's do it again. I was looking at range. I'm one to three squares away. To hit, I need a three. I got a seven. So that's him. That's him here. His longbow has four. Maximum range of 48. It was one or two. That is right, isn't it? I'm going to have to quickly just check because I've obviously made some mistakes already. Don't want to make any more. Uh, target is in range. We're in range. Count with another one. On sight. Hit rolls. Uh, range weapons are similar to hit rolls for hit rolls made hat kits. I'm just going to exclude one. Uh, we're not counting the only range weapon section. Yeah, you don't count the toughness. It has no effect on attack on range weapon. The rep target's weapon skill. Yeah, so cool. Four dice. I only need one to hit. And. Four dice. Uh, toughness is eight. It, didn't I? I said only one needs to be above an eight, which loads up, so he's dead. But the champion is dead, that's good. Now, the, the, my last guy is the henchman here fighting this Skaven. So, if we come around here, there's this guy here fighting this lone Skaven, uh, and now I can really see the advantages of. Moving combat, moving combat, moving combat, instead of doing what I've just done. Bad for me. And uh, it gets a one, which is a fumble. 
hits. So let's see, fumbles. On the other hand, if the two hit rolls is a one, the attack is fumbled. This means the model makes such a hashy attack, the opponent is presented with a golden opportunity to crack him over the head instead. The model being attacked makes an immediate free attack on the attacker. Good. <laughs> so my bright wizard's uh, henchman's about to be attacked. So, uh, so he's attacking the henchman. My weapon skill is... So to hit this, my weapon skill of a henchman is 7. Target weapon skill, so I'd need a 7. If I get a 7... No! I had a 2, so that's fine. But now it's his normal attack, and he is going to attack that guy again. 7. And he misses. He misses, so that's good. That's good. Um... So, combat turn, I think, GM face decided monster's going to, yeah, so we don't do a roll for the GM, he's just going to decide if they move, which I attacked, attack and move, he's in a death zone, so I think you, I don't know if there's three options, you've got to stop if you're in a death zone, but you can leave it, so he's going to just stay there. Uh, I think that's it. I think we end phase. Uh, this phase only takes place with no monster left in the board, which is not. So go back to the player phase. So I'm going to attack with him. He wants to hopefully do something and not fumble, which he does. He gets there. Uh, 10, 8. When I say his toughness was, I think he's done it. Uh, toughness is 7, actually. 10 and 8, and he's got 6, so he does take 2 wounds with him. And now, okay, can we attack? I believe we can attack, can't we? Six player model can uh, move and attack, or attack and move. So we're going to move. And we're going to come 1, 2, 3. We're going to go back out the door behind the wizard. Uh, So now, hopefully, the elf's gonna sh fire a bow into his bow into him, which he does, and kills him. That's great. So we've got rid of that Skaven and no, no death penalties. Uh, <laughs> the elf's then gonna move out here. Uh, He's going to move here. He's going to move here. He's going to move by the door. So we've all bunched up back in the corridor, ready for Swen to open the door. Uh, so that's that end phase. No monster ends phase. Uh, there's no monsters, heroes in Skeptical Clean down here. Apparently, heroes select a new leader. Well, my leader's still going to be Heinrich, he's the boss of this campaign. But now we're going to go back to exploration phase, and the first thing we're going to do is open the door. Like so. Uh, yeah, so it's when that's going to open the door. Uh -huh. And what he's going to do is, no one else is going to move, so we're going to end that and go to end the player phase of exploration and go to the exploration phase. It's a room, so let's see what room we got. Please be a quest room. Please be a quest room. Please be a quest room. Right. Quest. 12. It's not. It's a 9. It's another layer. Another blooming lair, and it's large as well. Yeah, I didn't really want that. So, uh, all right, this gonna have to be long ways. It's only one actually. Be long ways. Go here. All right, so I use the other, the other lair. Hold on. OK, 
cat treats. Uh, pies. Uh, uh, right, cat your tails. <laughs> I want my lair to be. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a flippy towel. Oh, it's so. Oh, no. No. Let's <laughs> move you that way. Your towel's flipping, boy. Your towel is flipping all over the place. It's a flipping towel. Swings at your knee. Who's going here? Who's going here? Who's going here? So we're back. Okay, we're back. Put it back together. Alright, so. <coughs> What's in? Alright, so what do we do? It's a lair. Brilliant. Uh, let's consult what we're putting on. Uh, actually, I should make a note of my gold, shouldn't I? Uh, that's Lair's Matrix. So they had 40 gold, so I'm going to put my 40 here on them, Skaven. Let's see what we're getting this time on the Lair Matrix. Don't want anything big, free, that looks quite small. Five warriors, and they have 50 on if I get to kill them. How's that? Okay, and door, any doors in this? Uh, four? None. So brilliant. So we just got four, did I say four warriors? Four to three. Five warriors. We just got five warriors there. Uh, place. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing as last time. I am not placing them as near as possible. I want to get my guys into the room. So, what we'll do is we'll put them in a straight row. If you want to see anything along here. That's yes, the uh, models don't fit in properly. So, uh, brilliant. Excellent. Excellent, little boy. Yeah. So, yeah, let out. They're in a straight room right over here. Pla <laughs> Smashing them. Have you ever tried playing games with a cat? Have you ever tried owning a cat? Uh, yeah, because they do things like that when they sit right in the way. Right in the way. Um, okay. I'm going to have to stand up anyway. So swing open the doors. He's going to go in first. He's got a six, so he can definitely do that. Uh, we're going to get this guy going in. And I'm going in here. Uh, now let's do. Okay, let's. We're doing this again. We're all moving in. I'm playing like SBG. Let's go in. So swing's going in. If I'm right on this, so each model can move. Yeah. Okay. So we're doing this one at a time. Hopefully, doing this properly. Uh, so it's just a warrior. So uh, it's just a warrior. Say just a warrior. This game's deadly. I'm survived to survive this one. So he has a weapon skill of six, six and seven. No warriors. That's good. Swing, hand hand combat. Six. Only needs a five. Only needs a five. Excuse me. Gets four. Rubbish, Swen. Rubbish. Um, combat, can I? I might use a combat to fate point. Uh, fate points can be used for any oh, combat, can use expirations. Here are the number of combat. I can spend any fate points in your combat turn. Fate points can be spent. All damage staff to them. Uh, fate points can also convert a failed roll into a successful die roll. Well, I've just failed that. <laughs> So I'm kind of, or do I bother at this early stage? Another two layers to go. Now let's just leave that. Hey, okay, so let's get my man at arms in. Do men at arms, the halberd. They'll have swords. I don't know if halberds had a longer range, but no, no to hope swing. Things so we're gonna put him in here and. Roll the dice. Two, no, all this gone terrible. Next, we're having the elf come in. Go behind Swen. Uh, yeah, he hits with a nine. Four damage dice. Uh, I think 
one. One point of damage on him, that is terrible. And that one, two, three, seven. So he does one point of damage. Oh, oh, oh even. Go that way, cat. Oh, grabbing cats with treats. Grabbing cats with treats, okay. So he's got one point of damage on him. Uh, next up, this guy, henchman, did I say move six? Oh, perhaps I should have used this. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see if we can hit this, try and hit this one. Okay. Oh, all oh, these dice are being horrible for me. Seven. So he's going to try this henchman. Perhaps I should have got pilots too far back. That was an eight, but not in the thing. That's a twelve. So eight, seven. So he's got two hits on this one. This is where it's going to go horribly wrong and going to get murdered. Use <laughs> the game with your treating. The tail don't flip around, that as a pillar. Super strong tail, I guess. Alright, so how much does a. Uh, oh, it's moved eight, so one, two, three, seven, eight. We can go here. This is too soon to uh, use a spell. Okay, so it's just in case. And he's mech. So what we've we done? We've uh Holding. Because I'm sort of house holding where the placement needs so I can get into the room to make it a bit more exciting and dynamic. But also, Heinrich is waiting here for the exploration phase to get down to exploration. So, what we're going to do is everyone's had their turn at combat now. Yes. Now, the Skaven's turn. Oh, hang on. So it's Skaven's turn. So this one's going to attack Swin. So, let's use Black Dice Skaven. Five, I don't think that's going to do anything. My Swin's uh, weapon skill is eight. Oh, I've lost the page now. Really should have printed this out as well. <coughs> this is uh, weapon skill. Eight, so I'd need eight. Uh, next one along is going to be this into a henchman. A uh, henchman has a weapon skill of seven, so seven to seven. He does hit. Uh, how much damage does he do? Damage dice four. Uh, nines, sixes, two sixes, and two nines. Uh, toughness is sixes. Uh, no, toughness is eight according to this. So two points of damage. So, oh, this is terrible. He's taken two points of damage already. He only has three wounds. And that's not good. That's uh, this one here, isn't it? Under there. We know he's got damage. Alright, next one along. Ten, and that is a hit. For sure. Uh, again, two points of damage. I've run out of these two wounds, I think. 
Oh god. Oh, this room has. I knew it was too good to be true. Let's put two under here. Uh, okay. We're going to lose one of Swin's henchmen because this one's going to move up here. And he can sense blood. I can see that. He can sense blood and he's going to now hopefully go for the last wound. 10, that is it. We've lost a henchman. We have not lost a henchman. Look at that. Two fours and threes. He survived that. And now the last one is coming up to attack the elf henchman. 10. I think we're going to lose all my henchmen pretty much. Uh, nine. Two nines. Yeah, so two more wounds. This is excellent. They're scoring two wounds apiece on my henchmen. Uh, this game has no such concept as healing apart from Magnus, but I'm saving that for the heroes. So, brilliant. Um, okay, back to my turn. Hopefully, uh, Sven can get in there. Come on, Sven. Yep, he's in. So, that is four damage dice. I think we're going to do him unless it's a really low roll. Yep, we have. So, we killed him. Uh, <coughs> okay, next up, I'm going to move, move him here just so we can move him around just in case we can get him next turn. Uh, the henchman in front of that Skaven, the Skaven gun wounded, so hopefully the henchman can not do anything. Excellent. Uh, then the elf's going to shoot his bow. Oh, no, fumbles. Uh, I can't see how he can get a free attack. Let's have a look what it says about critical hits fumble. Uh, a fumble attacks do not. A fumble causes attack not to hit an ally. To hit, to hit an ally instead of target. Yep, okay, so it looks like we're gonna shoot <laughs> a henchman. Yep, cool. Just killed my own henchman. Excellent. Takes a wound. Uh, excellent, killed me own henchman. Um, oh, that was, might be a short game. I might not be. <laughs> Second room. Perhaps I should have closed the door. No do overs now, is there? Okay. All right. Brilliant. So next up, this Bright Wizard's henchman is going to move into him. Come on, Bright Wizard. No. Oh, these guys. Uh, Sven's henchman is going to attack the one in front of him. Oh. Uh, nine, it's one. In else henchman hits at least. Come on, sevens. Not one blooming here. Oh. I've got the bright wizard. So it's a fireball, so I could potentially take out two. Seem worth it though at this early stage. Damn it. Hey, rat here. Five. Nope. Rat here. Eleven hits. Swin's henchman, who I think is going to be dead, unless it's terrible. Yep. Swin's henchman is dead. We've lost two henchmen already. Uh, this rat's going to. Move up one, attack Magnus. Uh, I need to do that. 
and gets 12. That's a critical. <laughs> <laughs> this game is brutal. So, critical hit. Uh, you make a free attack. Uh, so, he's still got to do damage for this one. Uh, this now to make a free attack. Uh, still got to do damage. Let's do damage first and then do his free attack. Free. Oh, I think I may have rolled too many combat dice before, but. 5552. Five, five, Please have a toughness of 4. Mofo. Um, fate points. Okay, we're going to use a fate point to negate, i.e. reduce to zero, any and all damage suffered. Uh, so that's two points he's potentially got. Now his free attack comes in, as long as it's not 12, doesn't do anything. So, But we're going to spend a fate point and uh, reduce any and all damage, so he doesn't suffer any, any damage. That's excellent. And now... <laughs> This last Gaven attacking the Elf's henchman gets a fumble, and that means I get a free attack on him. Now, uh, uh, that's just no more attack, isn't it? I don't, it's not just damage. Please, please, damage. Please, fumble. Uh, <coughs> I think that's plenty of gold in your attack. Send him one attack, makes an immediate free attack. Okay. So as long as I don't fumble this myself, it's a nine, so he gets him. And check my combat dice is four. Yes, yes, just needs sixes or above. So two, with his free attack, he does two points of damage. So that is better than a kick in the teeth. Um, horrible round, lost some henchmen, got some damage, had to spend fate point. And these are only warriors. Okay, it's now my turn proper. So Swen's going to go in at the back here, attacking this one here. Uh, and misses. And misses. Um, there's still four blooming Skaven left. I can't believe I missed that. Uh, He's gonna he's gonna spend a fate point. Turn that into a success. He's got to we gotta kill the Skaven. Seven, 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 seven. Two sixes. I know like two damage. Uh in turn combat that's uh yeah. So he only does two points of damage on that. Because, dang, another toughness six. It's a seven. So he only does two points of damage. Oh my goodness. This is brutal. Only does two points of damage to him. Okay. Now this henchman's going to come round. And hopefully finish him off now. Got to make this count. Yep. Come on, henchman. Any of these above seven, please. Yep. Great. Killed him. Dead. Dead mortals. Uh, <coughs> Heinrich's coming in. And going on to this one. He only needs. Kill him for one. A, yeah, that's gonna do it. Yeah, takes him out. Oh, this is brutal. Um, one, two, three. The elf is gonna come in. He won away from the one in front of Magnus, and shoot a bow into him, which he. Get, I believe cat's now sitting on my note, so I can't see. Uh, let's move his camera away ever so slightly. 
We can see what's going on. But yeah, the elf's going into here. Uh, it's one, two, three, so that's a hit. Four damage dice. One, two, six, four. That sucks. Because that means he has no damage already. So he hasn't got two. Okay, and then this henchman's coming round coming round here to the back. I kinda do like this combat more, playing it like this. I hope you can see what's going on here. Um treats. Uh it's making it much more dynamic and a lot going in. Five is weapon skill was seven seven, so henchmen are I think <laughs> <laughs> what are you sitting on my notes, cat? Uh, you're sitting. Don't sit on the book. <laughs> At five. I don't want to. No, I need seven. Oh, I don't. Look. Um, right, sorry, just sorting out after my cat went. So, no, he misses. Uh, so now Magnus. Uh, so we'll need a nine if he's going to wound. So he's not. He's actually going to peace out here. Remove his full eight. He's going to go find the exploration bit ready. Ready to see, uh, and now Elven get this Elven henchman gets a C nine. Gets a nine. That is good. So he can take his pick on either one. Uh, I'm going to roll. They both got two wounds left. Shame we can't split them up. Uh, he's going to get. This one here, and now this one here. <laughs> I need to cheat a wee bit because he's going to attack this one, mainly because a bit of role playing here <laughs> and to save my weakened henchman here. Being this one attacked him, he would then counter attack, is my feeling here. So he's going to attack this one here. So one dice. It's a free, oh, so nothing. Oh. On to the next phase. One Skaven left, and a load of wounds, a load of henchmen dead, and a load of fate points spent. So we're gonna go, we're gonna move him first, gonna activate him, who is gonna go in and attack, try and backstab him. There's no rules for backstabbing. She does. Is that annoying? That is annoying. Two nines. Yeah, he kills him. And with that, we get 50 gold. Oh, end phase. 90 gold in total. Uh, and he's going to move now. Not at the end phase yet. Can they move? Will they move? Seven? Seven. Um, yeah. What you will see are nine right here, here. What am I? A yeah, right here. Effectively, right here. Signs A. So he's gonna go here. No GM phase, all the monsters are dead. End phase, everything's gone. We're in a passage, so we're back to the exploration phase. That was brutal. That was brutal, and we're going to go here, and hopefully, hopefully, discover the quest room here. I wasn't expecting to get that battered on level one. There's another two levels to go.
Okay, let's see. We're back to the gener generation sort of part of this game. We are going to get a one, which is a passage, single passage section. So let's get that in here. Like so. Uh, what features are in here? An eight. Nothing. How does it end? Oh wait, hang on. Features I should have bought two dice. Five, nine, nothing. Door would have been nice. Uh, how's it end? Uh, nine, six, and a ten, seven, 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 seven. Ends in a dead end. Okay. Excellent. That is right, isn't it? Seven. Into the dead end. Brilliant. So our dungeon ends like that. So uh, that's great. Uh, GM phase. Twelve. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I think that's wonder with monsters. <laughs> oh no. Ah. Um, GM phase, GM phase, wandering monsters, excellent, excellent. So I think wandering monsters, generate wandering monsters, wandering monsters, your matrix, say when monsters set up, place them, first monster closer than possible, as possible. This I probably will do fairly normal because it's not room. Uh, wandering monster is one dice. It's an eleven. Three warriors and a sentry. There's nowhere for this sentry to go. So what we're going to do is put warriors right at the front here. They'll come round the corner. They stumbled in to the warriors, uh, which is not good for. Magus as he's right at the front. So, oh, because the sentry's at the back. I figure there's no point there's no doors for him to run off and open. I suppose he could get down here, but he's not going to make it through that cluster pile there, is he? Um, so it's going to be like that. Is the general uh, throng of things. Uh, so that's it. So GM phase. Now we're in the combat phase, and so for this we are blatantly Magnus is blatantly going to use one of his components, <laughs> cast the fire spell, because they have lined up lovely for well, that fire spell to take effect there all over all four of them. I've never done magic before in this game, uh, so let's have a look. I think it's just going to be casting spells. Uh, spell trigger. Spell has one component. So I can cast move from certain spells. Nope. So let's have a read. Uh, the wizard casts a silver fireball at which engulfs them uh, in a white flame. Place a fireball template anywhere within twelve inches of the caster and has line of sight. Yep. Treat this just like range attack. See combat sections. Any models friendly or enemy which fall under the fireball template are automatically hit. That's nice. Roll five damage dice to see which effect to see what effect a hit has. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna get above its toughness. Which <laughs> you'd think I'd remember by now, but I can't. We're gonna need another dice. I think it's. Can we remember what it is? Seven? Right. So, Scathing Warrior is seven. The Sentry is six. So, the Sentry's this one over here, on the back here. Yeah, so, I'm going to need a, another dice. Another 12 sided dice, not 20. Went horribly wrong. Uh, 
Can you see that? You can't really see the yellow ones, can you? Um, okay, hold on. So I've only got yellow left. What about yellow with black? And you can see that, can't you? Cool. Right. Five dice, so we're going to do the warrior under here. Seven to above, eight is here. One, two. I got a bloody 20 sided dice out here. What's this? I've still got a 20 sided dice. Come on, go away, 20. I won't like you. I'm going to get a 20 sided dice. It doesn't matter because it wasn't scored. So, yeah, he's dead. Okay, the next warrior that's going to be behind him. Ten, six, so no, but he takes a wound. I'm going to take this off now, just so we can see what we're doing. He's dead. He's taken a wound. So let's do this guy here. Oh, this spells really powerful. Join this. Ten, two, it's seven, eight, so he's dead. Nice one, Magnus. I kind of wanted you to save this for down below, unless we'll find spell components. Uh, sentry just needs sixes. Ten. I oh, guess yeah, so sentry's dead. Brilliant. <clears throat> okay. Uh, my elf's going to go in and try and shoot his bow at the last remaining one. I think I was going to come down here and shoot the bow, so don't need the yellow one anymore. Don't need the black there for monsters. Here's a nine, so that's a hit. Seven to above. Nine, yep, so dead. Excellent. Dead. How much gold do we get from that? How much gold do we get from that cat? It's sitting on my book, so you can tell me. Uh, <laughs> Uh, one your monsters. Uh, one of your monsters. 11 free. 50 gold. Yeah, another 50 gold. 140 gold. Fits in. Okay. Uh, uh, turn. No GM turn for this. So we're moving. Going back to movement now. So uh, 12. That's right, go here. We're going to go here. 12 years, 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 12. And then I get to the rest, I'm just going to pile in behind. And behind, and now it's the exploration phase. And please, no wandering monsters, and please let us have. Something nice happened. So we're down. We're back down. I don't think you can even see it on this camera. Back down this area here. I think at this camera here. And we're going to roll up a passage. <laughs> move my cat off the table for now. And give us a treat. Yeah, so he feels bribery, really, with cats. Secret of good ownership, bribery. <coughs> he sat at the end of the table, he could see it forever, but he's in the book. <laughs> and it's a very flippy book where we flip through the book a lot. Um, passage, what we're going to get? 11. It's three sections. Three sections, okay. So after this, I'm going to have to map this of course the very long passage features two dice is 20 it's not going to be a wandering monster that's two doors excellent so uh, 
I forget how you play stores, I think it's not really been an issue beforehand, but I forget how you play stores. Room doors, you know, no, no, no rooms, doors. Okay, so leading to nothing. Okay. So I basically GM decides where to place them, so in this case we're gonna put one here. One right here. And one right here. So either side. <laughs> No, just in case. Dude, we'll put one here and here, okay? One here and one down there. Now, it's just in case this doesn't have a crest room. I'm gonna close the door and we're gonna leg it down here. But we haven't, we gotta find out how this passage ends. It's a 17 left turn. That's great, because that means we're gonna move it back over here which is great because then we can come back into shot on the other camera so for now that's the exploration turn uh do i well, do i well, i guess there is a gm turn now isn't there because that's the end of that turn gm turn five nothing excellent what i to do is come in and we're going to open this door Remove the door now it's open as it's broken uh, like so and we're gonna roll up a room aren't we please be does this count as as a test <laughs> because I want to get a 12 I want to be a successful test a normal room and it's small okay Degree pokery, this. It's just a normal room. Okay. Normal rooms, these are small, empty rooms, long abandoned by their original occupants. So, nothing in there. That is amazing. I can't search a hidden. Uh, hang on, how's my map going? That one. It's an empty room, four here. Two, two, left turn, the door, oh this map sketchy, door here, need to worry about writing the monsters in here, uh, okay so we've done some mapping, uh, can we see, we can just about see down here can we, we can't, right hold on, let's adjust this camera, expecting to come this far. That technical adjustment's on the fly. Can you see the door down here? The door's here, so... Uh, we're opening the door at the end of his turn, so the rest are going to go... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... Gonna go here. Uh, oh, but he's gonna hang here. Oh, let's put him under his. Onto. Okay, so. We're moving up down the corridor. Uh, it's quite nice. Uh, Swen's going to be left behind because he'd already moved and explored. But the others are moving up, and now it's the GM turn. So what we don't want is wandering monsters. It's nine. That's nothing. No traps or anything. So we're going to go ahead, and we are going to bunch. It's up around the door, henchmen like this. Uh, and we're going to put him in here and open the door. This door still? Nope, this door doesn't have 
these doors. I might. Does anyone know if you can uh, put him here? Put him here. And this one can go here. Does anyone know if you can buy sort of replacement doors? Not necessarily the exact ones, but something similar. Love to know. Just because. All right, this has got to be a six. Well, it doesn't have to be a six. It's a normal room. Oh, it's just an empty room. Put this in. It's just a room. And uh, that's the end of that. So we're going to go on to the GM phase. 12 excellent wandering monsters. I'm going to set them up in that room just for. All. Do you have the GM phase now? Let me just think. Just see if we can get out of this. Oh, I don't want. So, where did this book so bad? Generating dungeons. So it's exploration, exploration, exploration. Turn a sequence. So it's not. So we're not going. In phase, exploration phase. The end phase. So yeah, okay. So you do. Let's see what we're getting. Two. That looks small. If, if anything go by, lower equals less, higher equals. Uh, wandering monsters, two, just two warriors. Uh, we're going to put them. Uh, actually, no, we're not going to put them in the room. They are wandering monsters. So what we're going to do is we're going to have them. And what I forgot to do last time, actually, we're going to have them come round the corner, and we've got a roll for surprise. I'm sure there is a surprise thing. Surprise roll. Before monsters are placed on table, leader and GM roll with dice. Surprise rolls. And give a bonus. A leader doesn't have a bonus to surprise. Perhaps I should have made. No, it adds one to the plus. Oh, adds, no, he does add one to the surprise roll, so I do. Um, I, f I think you still do this in solo. I think I was meant to do it up the top there. Um, I just want to get down to the first quest room. <laughs> this is amazingly uh, bad. Uh, I've got one on here. Doesn't say anything about surprise roll, so we are going to. Oh, and I should have done tactics as well. Okay, we've missed out a few here. There's a tactics thing. So we're going to do a surprise roll. I get plus one, which is in the red. Brilliant. So no. Uh, I don't think you can do surprise roll, can you? Plus one was uh, uh, the leader main. All right, if the GM scores higher, if you know, monster will spread in this turn, the GM places monsters in the dungeon section where they are where discovered. One monster per square. I don't really do surprise roll. It doesn't sort of work. But anyway, that's where they are. So now we're into combat turn. Hopefully, the uh, elf here, the elf henchman here, can go in. Nope. Uh, he's too far away, the L guy. Hopefully, the next one can go in. See. Hand to hand. It's sevens, isn't it? It's pure sevens. Now, I think, to be honest, uh, talking about the tactics table. Yeah. Weapon skill six. No, this could be. Sixes I need. So he's got a hit. Eight, ten, yeah, so he's killed him. Okay. And he's gonna move up to here, like so. Leaving Heinrich enough to come in to here. It's still my players go. This could be we could be okay here. Yep, Heinrich comes in with seven, seven, seven. His toughness seven. Yep, kills him. Excellent, and that will get. Yeah, it's what I was saying before I was doing it. Um, because you can you roll and you get reinforcements. It's the only thing probably 
would have made a difference. But most of the time it's move and attack and attack and move, but they because of the one house rule in the um position of them, they're in a good position to uh, keep attacking me anyway. So that was 20 gold, so we're up to 160 gold. Hopefully we can if we get out of here. We are now back to the exploration phase, so just to save time I'm going to move him there upwards and we're going to roll on the passage to see what we get. Please be a quest room. We really want a quest room. It's four. Oh, here's two passage sections. We're running, running out of passage sections. Okay. So we're generating this coming down here. Like so. We got that coming down. What are we going to find in there? We're going to find nothing. No, what? Are we going to find? Yep, we're going to find nothing in there. Oh no, it's two dice. So six. And an eight. So that is 14. So still nothing. How's it going to end? It's going to end with a 21. Stairs out. Huh. Huh. Uh, does that always lead to the surface? <laughs> Let me just. Hmm, oh, no quest room. What? So, this dungeon was a what? <laughs> it's got these secret doors now, I guess. At least it's empty. Uh, dungeon layout. Stairs are free level, weak level. Stairs going down. Stairs out. Stairs down. Uh, okay, so it stares out. Um, hmm. one, two. Right, so somewhere in here, <laughs> we're gonna have to do a hidden door, I guess, because. Uh, I don't know if you can see it up here, but this section here, you can just see on the end here, just ends on stairs out. So, stairs in here. Um, right. Okay. Uh, I was not expecting that. Um, let me just check the time. This is probably going to be a really long video of not a lot happening. I think it is, isn't it? It's going to be about an hour, getting on to two hours. Um, I might stop the video and uh or do you want to see me explore secret doors um secret doors doors in dead ends or rooms which have no room doors except the one they entered by so potentially all the rooms can have secret doors so what we're going to do I'm going to come into this room and we're going to roll eight for a secret door. Six. No secret door here. So, Sven's going to come in. One, two, three. 12. He's going to come into this room and he's going to search for a secret door in this room. And he finds one. There is a secret door. The finds him to a place where he likes in the section of wall he was searching in. He was searching in this section of wall just for gravity. Uh, okay. In the search here, so there was a secret door in this room. Perhaps we should have done this earlier. And what I'm gonna do, if this really is not the quest room, I'm gonna I don't know if it works like this, but I'm going to use let's see if this doesn't work. 
and to use my fate token to make sure that searching for a quest room is a success. So I'm going to move all the guys down here like so apart from Heinrich who's going to be a bit behind uh, or do we just wait because now we have to do a GM roll there's nothing so Heinrich can come up on one two three four so he's going to get here Sven is going to go here he's going to open this door and see I was thinking about doing a house rule where if you're looking for a quest room roll it kind of gets easier the more you go on like so now you pretty much find it this would be automatically quest room because the dungeon's pretty much done I mean I've only a few other places I can search for a secret door. I mean, there's the two other layers and the dead end passage. So, if it's not the last place I search, we're automatically finding it. Two, it's just a normal room. There's nothing in here. Okay, so it's just a normal room. There's a secret door here, just into a normal room. So Magnus is going to come up now and go. Well, so she's going to come into this room. He's going to search for a secret door. Which I believe that is no. GM, I draw one dungeon counter. Uh, there's no dungeon counter to be drawn. Twelve. So then, boys, all gonna not here, and it's all gonna get another GM phase. Basically, one is gonna be a fault. It doesn't mention about the secret doors. I don't think in the solo thing. So you can do it. I don't think it tells you what happens if you get one. I should just check because I could be talking rubbish. Which I normally do. Moving monsters, attacks. No, it just says you can't. So, secret doors, so secret doors. On the world of one, group of wandering monsters. Oh, I have found a group of wandering monsters. Uh, excellent. Okay, so I'm gonna just move all these up. When can't cause he's stuck there. Wandering mon that's beautiful, wandering monsters, free. So I'm gonna come round the corner, I guess. Free, just one century. That's fine. That's fine. One century, twenty gold. Come here. At the corner. Let's do. I don't know. How does surprise work? I think house rule this as I'm going along. Because uh, surprise on solo. Um, come in. He's going to come in here. We're not going to do surprise roll because I don't think it works. Because GM moves it, but you've got to move him as close as possible. So now we're into combat. So I'm going to have. This guy coming around to here and trying to get him in the back. So one dice, ten, that's a hit. Toughness is gonna be six, I think. Or is it five on sentries? Sixes. So twelve, eight, yeah, he's dead. Excellent. 20 more gold, so we're up to 180 gold. Not bad, not bad. Um, so, no secret doors in this room. Got to go in here, so we can go here with the elf. We come in 12, we're going to search this wall here. Eleven, <laughs> but is that the thing? So that is six. 
there's not a secret door in this wall section. Oh, sorry. So then we're gonna move these down here. The only thing that can be is in this section here where we automatically find it. We've got to automatically find it. Let's just see. He's well behind. Let's have a look. No. Right, so I don't know what to do here if there's a quest room um, and we haven't found it yet. So hang on. Um, does it cover? It must cover this if we're looking for a quest room and we haven't found it due to the dungeon. Room's quest room. Room's quest room. Room's quest room. Room's quest room. Containment. I think we're going to have to fudge this. Dead end dungeons is possible, although highly unlikely. A dungeon to be generated has no areas for heroes as well. This can only be done if all the corridors dead ends or stairs. Yep. All the doors opened have been opened. Yep. All possible areas have been searched for a secret door have been searched. Such circumstances are allowed to search secret doors in locations they've already searched and may keep going until you find a secret door allowing them to carry on to exploring the dungeon. Oh. So it's dead end, so. Let's search it. Oh. Search this dungeon. All right, we've got a secret door. Right, <laughs> we've got a secret door. So we'll put a secret door here. I'll put it here. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna put it here in the rubble. It was amongst the rubble. Make sure GM phase is not a thing. Uh, I want to do monster or trap. We come here with my guy. Uh, we're going to open it. And if this is not the quest room, I suppose. Hey, it's going to be a bloody lair in it. You just know it's going to be a lair. A hazard room. Okay. There's a small hazard room. Matter of door bits. Small hazard room. I'm going to accept this. <laughs> Let's just see what hazard room we got. Just because it's exciting, got has a groom. Uh, a roll on the how to groom table if I can find it. Room doors. I'll tell you what I haven't been doing. These rooms here, they're just rooms, they could have doors in. Ha 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 ha! We all go back and explore them. They could have doors in. Perhaps it was dark and we couldn't see originally. They all could have doors in. All with the lair rooms. I can't remember if I rolled or not from. Oh, this has gone horribly wrong. Well, let's find out what kind of hazard this room is. Let's do this. Uh, hazard room. It's 1 to 6. Well, 1 to 12, even. 5. It's rats or bats. Um. Bats, bats, roll the dice if it's even. I don't think it really cares. Four, cause uh, even. Room contains rats. So all we're going to do here is close that door. Because the rats are, in case you don't know, uh, the floor of this room is covered with a living carpet of vicious rats. The heroes have five choices. Rat poison. Heroes of rat poison, they may use it to kill the rats. I don't have any rat poison, take one exposure to Greek fire, I don't have any rat. Uh, flames of death spells, clear the room, I only have one left, not wasting on rats. Uh, fire out. Heroes raiding the rats, so 60 of them. Each hero who enters the room rolls a dice, treat it as exploration turn. 
this number of dice that killed if it's one to four and suffers a wound so no i'm going to slam the door is the other option slam the door hero slam the door and leave the rats to it that there are rats infecting here mark it on your map there's rats which i have done so we're just gonna slam it like so uh that's not the end of that exploration phase is it yeah it is new turn so we're gonna come in here as well as searching for blooming traps we're gonna search for doors which i for totally forgot about what genuine excuse me and there is a door here right and i don't have any more doors so i think i'm gonna grab hero quest so what i'm gonna do is gonna pause it here okay hero quest doors to the rescue so i've got the old hero quest doors out because i've run out of doors you only get six in this so yeah we forgot to search a room so um searching for rooms in i'm just gonna wreck on it it was dark they couldn't see it to see him so we found the door here so what we're going to do is just all under in here so we'll get in here and see we're going to open this door Quest doors with really cool design. All right, so they're cardboard, but similar design just with plastic would work wonders. Yeah, so as I said, please let me know if there is anything, any other substitutes out there that people have seen that I can buy. That I said, don't have to be exact type ones, but just something similar. Um, yeah, okay, so room, a uh, room door, rooms, uh, opening door, room doors. Opens into a passage, so it's even number opens into a passage. Odd twelve evens as a passage. Ugh. And the pass the rooms, so we're gonna have to oh, I have to jig my map around. Not that it makes much difference because this room here with the rats in. Because passages always have to, uh, yeah, yeah, passages always have to run along the wall. So that is now the rat room, like that. Okay, so just move the rat room from there to there because passages have to run in parallel. So effectively, it's a passage. So it's a passage. Excellent. So, oh, how do you generate passage? You just put. I don't want to put an end bit in there, really, I guess. Uh, room, if not number, opens into a passage rolled on the passage generation table. So what size is it? It's eight. It's two sections. There we go. Like that. Um, hmm. This is awkward to where it's going. So we're going to pretend it's a dead end. Like so. That is a dead end passage. So it's two passage section. One. What's in the passage? Hopefully nothing. 22. Door would be nice. Or some wandering monsters. Uh, what are we going to get? Oh, just one dice. We're going to get a six. Which is three warriors. Okay. Not too bad. Right, I'm going to place them in that section. To hopefully, so I'm trying to go with more silver tower placement in these. And if you notice, I'm placing them about halfway because that gives you a chance to get some maneuvering around before 
you get into the meat grinder effect uh, it just makes it more interesting and the end is uh, 21 again stairs out so we know that is stairs out Oh, I'm gonna close the door. I'm gonna close that door. Right. And then we are. Well, I think you got a turn, so it's now my turn in the combat. Get out of here. We're gonna go like this. And we're gonna go here. Here. Here, I don't still want to. It's now getting meat grindy. It's just here, and we're going to close this door. So now they would come in and open this door, and they got to do it at the end of the turn, which they don't. So we'd come in here, open this door. That door's closed. I don't have line of sight, and we're just going to put there's three scathing warriors here that we didn't kill. <coughs> I'm just going to get. We'll leave them there for now. That's a little remark there there. Um, so we'll do a GM phase now, just to make it fair. Hey, we're fudging this a little bit because I don't understand how this is going to work out. Um, I don't think I'll search for a thing in this lair. I'm going to come in. He's, just, he's going to come in and I'm going to come in. I'm going to search this wall section here. That is a six, which I think is not a secret door. No. Uh, Sven had. Uh, it's not a secret door we're doing, we're searching for normal doors. Now, this one can't have one in anyway, because there's no way it can go. Search for normal doors that we missed, so. We are totally lost, effectively, is what we're saying here. Uh, 12, because we're going backwards and forwards in this dungeon. Uh, they've already moved. GM phase, free, nothing. So they're going to come out. Okay, so there is going to be a door here, so let's roll over see if there's a door. Nine. Actually, we've got that room, we may have had one and we've gone wrong again. Uh, just too many charts, I wish I had that nine. There are two doors in this room. Uh, I forget what I rolled then. I think there's no doors. Right, we can't count this one here, there's never no doors in. There's going to be two doors here. Okay. Alright. Two doors here. Alright, so we're going to carry on now. So we're going to move all in as much as possible. Of course, this means we're getting loads more GM phases than possibly what I should have been getting, but it's here. GM phase seven. No, Sven's going to come round. And he's going to check this door here. So we're going to come around here. We're going to open this door. This door just works so much better. <laughs> and what do we find? It's going to be passage or a room. So I want odds. It's a passage. Not that I really want in a passage. So it's going to be short passage section. So. It can only go here, so I'm going to treat that as a dead end. Door here, door here. Short passage. What's in the passage? Hopefully, uh, 12. Hopefully, a door would be lovely. Nothing. What's out the passage? And 19. Stairs down, which is stairs out. I don't have enough stairs for this, so there's out. Her. Okay, we're moving here. We've you getting ready. 
move in here with you and we're going to open that have the elf opening here we're right at the end of my table so hopefully it's just a room odd please one it's an odd here we go it's a room this is the only place the quest room can be I mean it says keeps on saying this is a rare occasion but this is now the only place this quest room can be uh, so I think I've got to make this to quest room it's the only thing I can do it's got to be the quest room yeah yeah that is correct right I move this this way yes that was a slide this has got to be the quest room I don't want to fudge it too much but I've been fudging it a lot as it is but uh, exploration it's not where is it a dead end dungeons right possible highly unlikely for dungeon to be generated it has no new area and that is it if this the thing is I suppose this can be a room and then we can go on forever and ever and ever oh see what it would be 11 it's the quest room anyway <laughs> yes we didn't fudge it I feel good about that I feel good we didn't fudge it we're right excuse me I moved my microphone we are right here in the quest room quest room there are stairs down I think do we have any stairs down we don't we don't have any stairs down I thought there were stairs down uh, thing in here do you not have stairs down like Huh. No, interesting. I thought it was like I don't really remember having stairs down. Luckily, somewhere. Yeah, I would just use the throne as the stairs down. We'll have it. So let's throne. These are gonna be the stairs down, and they're gonna be at the back here. Does a quest room have a chest address? Please let me In the chest room. Oh no, no, no. You should go on the quest room to make sure you can see what monsters here. Light rooms also contain a treasure chest. Um. Mm. Well, we've got, well, we've got easy access to, uh, hero quest then, if I can find it. chest near it we use the hero quest treasure chest a bit here and now we're gonna want what roll we know the assassins here I believe so the assassin is gonna be here and he's gonna be I'm gonna place him at the back because he's gonna be sneakily guarding the stairs here okay we got the assassin out what else is in this room uh, kind of want not a lot five three champions and one warlord brilliant 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 and the normal scaven models now become three champions I'll place these this is in the middle here and there is going to be a warlord. Um, kind of, that's the most bogus roll I've wanted there. Uh, that's kind of upset me. So this is the first quest room level. Uh, let's just uh, see, what do you think, Cat? Yeah, he's, he's looking mortified by it, yep. That is his mortified uh, condolence on the thing. Okay, um, I don't like that. So what's champions are not that bad. What's the warlord like? He's not even on. Oh, there he is. 
Toughness is 8, same as a champion. Weapon skills 8, okay. And wounds 4. Okay, right. Cat's just trying to help me with his towel. So, cheers, cat. Cheers, cat. Cheers, cat. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going to move that door. So, I'm going to move Talion into here. Okay. I'm going to have to readjust after my cats stop flicking everything. Uh, let's see if I can. Because my cat is being, well, a cat. Right, okay, so Talion's going in here and he's going to fire at this champion here. It's a two, which I don't think is going to do it. No, it rolled hit three. Um, Sodic is going to use his fate point to turn that into a success because he's got no fate left because we want him dead. Nine, seven, six, and three. Toughness is eight. So we've done two wounds. Okay. Two wounds on him. We want to get down. Get down. Get back tonight. Uh, so we're going to move him up. And we're going to put him in front of this guy here. He's got, he's almost dead. But I'm going to see if we can kill him. Which we do. Hopefully, unless this won't yet, so we get him dead. Okay, excellent. Uh, Heinrich's coming into here. Look at my heroes. Uh, Heinrich's going to come in and attack this. Doesn't do a thing. Swen's coming into here, doesn't do a thing, this is terrible. Um, I'm just going to come into, it's not coming into the room just yet. It's coming in, he's coming in. Okay, so that's where we stand now. Uh, it's monster phase, let's see, got to remember this. This is the tactic where I can use the tactics properly for the first time in the game. I think this has been, been the only time really where it's made a difference. GM phase. Once it's armed with hand to hand weapons, so this is all of them. So that's a nine. And so they attack and move. Uh, what is the assassin? Only fans. Let's have a look. So I think most of them are only going to be the assassin. Where is the assassin? Poison dagger counts as a sword. He doesn't have a range, so he just has a poison dagger. It's basically a sword. Uh, so would I say they're going to attack and move? So he's going to attack Heinrich. He's going to do it. I think my weapon skill is eight. Um, weapon skill is eight. I can't remember what I rolled then. I needed an eight. Was that an eight? I'm going to say it's an eight. Uh, so I think that's a wound. My toughness is eight. So I've taken a wound on Heinrich. I'm going to put the wounds actually on their sheet, on my sheet, because I can't put them on here. Sven, he's going to get 12. That's a critical hit. 
that's nasty. Let's see. So that's 12. Two wounds on Swin. His toughness is eight. Now, a critical hit. Total weapon skill is weapon skill is eight, so we'd need an eight to get him. So that is a hit. I can see him ten, so that's two more, that's five wounds. But he only has five, so he is definitely spending a fate token to negate all that. This suck. Oh, I got a move now as well. So he's gonna. What are their speed? 10. So they're gonna come back here. Uh, he's not in combat with anyone, so he's just gonna move. And the assassin's not in combat with anyone, so he's just gonna move down to here. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, uh, and my tail cat's tail flicking away. So Heinrich's going to come in. Uh, Hicks, going to try and whack this one over the head. He does it. So, and does a massive, massive one wound. Uh, Swen's coming in and going down here. And Swen is going to try and get revenge on this guy and doesn't do it. This man at arms is coming in here. It's a seven. That will do seven, seven. Yep, seven, seven. And he's going to do nine, seven. I think his toughness is eight. That's eight. Yep. So two points of damage on him, though. That's cool. He's my sergeant's coming in and going to see weakness here. So he's going to come in and not do a thing. Excellent. This guy's going to come here. Talon's coming in here. I'm going to use his bow. And misses and Magnus coming in. Uh, see what they're going to do. They're going to do a six, which is move and attack. Um, well, they can't really, none of them can really move. So, as the assassin can, let's do the assassin first. He's going to move around here and attack Heinrich. Uh, so he's come round here and gone into Heinrich here and doesn't do anything. This one's going to attack Heinrich. Doesn't do anything. Are they, do they critically fumble on a two? That'd be lovely if they did. Uh, this one's going to attack Sren. Doesn't do anything. And the champion's going to attack the one in front of him. Does something. Uh, damage dice, six. So... Six. My toughness on this guy. I think he's dead. Six. Yeah. So that was hang. And so we might as well roll this one. He 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 is very dead. He got deaded. So the bright wizard's guy is now dead. Um. Attack and move. So he's going to come round now and try and get into Sren. Okay. Uh, why was there two points? Who got two points? I think he's dead, isn't he? That's the one that died. Okay. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, so we had champion. We killed one champion so far. His questrum is going wrong. Uh, so I'm going to try and attack the assassin. I think. No, I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack the guy in front of me. Yep. Let's see if we can. I only need two wounds. Yep. So he's gone. Okay. 
He's gone. And then we're going to move around to here. Uh, the elf. No, he's not. The elf's henchman is going to come in first. Oh god, this model. Stand in front of the... I'm going to see if we can get a somewhat decent... A stand in front of the henchman here going into the assassin here. And behind him the elf will shoot a bow. Yeah, we get him, I think. Unless his toughness is tough. It's not, so it's still seven. So it's a wound. Definitely a wound. Uh, that was a five. Uh, toughness seven, so it's two wounds. He has four wounds. That's cool. Our first character is halfway dead. So was his name? Well, I keep calling the elf like a racist. Um, Torillion. Torillion. Come on, get above a three. You do. Uh, 11, 12. So you've just killed the assassin. You killed the character for this one. That is good. Thorin. Spin round. Uh, you attack twice if you don't move. Oh... I know games you can do that. I don't think you can, can you? We would have been doing that. A model can move and attack, or attack and move. Doesn't have to try anything or anything. You know, can move so No, you can't. You can't attack twice if you don't move. Um. Okay. So we're gonna move him there. Swen's so gonna try and get this champion down. Which he does hit with a nine. Uh, what's the not champion? Sorry, the warlord here. Warlord's toughness of eight. So yeah, yeah. None of those hit. I really hurt. I can't go over that. None of those hit. That bloody sucks. Ho oh, hum, and then the chappy here is going to hit toughness A, toughness A, he might as well hit the warlord as well, he does, come on, all of these above an 8 please, 1, 2, he does 2 points of damage on him, well done you, you achieved something that Swen the crap dwarf couldn't do, okay, so let's see what these are going to do, Please be five. They are going to move and attack. Um, he's going to come here and attack the weak thing. He's going to come round to back a swing and attack him for seven. Excellent. Uh, six damage. Two, five. So three points of damage. So he's going to use his last fate token to negate that, which he's done twice in this whole game. Okay. So now I might go again. Um, so what we're going to do is with this art, green one here. It's really difficult on this camera angle. This green one here is going to go onto this champion. Nope. Uh, Heinrich's going to do the same. Yep. Please critical on 11. Nope. <laughs> uh, 11. Uh, uh, 6. 11. 11. Champion has a toughness of eight, so that is two wounds. Oh, this is only the first dungeon and I'm depleted. Did they think this was funny when Games Workshop wrote this? Because I can't go back out and heal. This is, I've just got to go down 
I mean, items. You can't find secret treasure. The only place you can find treasure is in this chest. If that's not a healing item, I'm boned. All right, so this henchman here is going to come along to him. Does nine. Yeah, that's enough. So he's got to get one of these. Got to be above an eight. It is. So he is dead. Okay, so it's just the champion left. Thren, you've got to do two points of damage here, matey. To uh, to achieve to win. So let's go. Ten, that's a hit. Uh, two above an eight, please. Two above an eight. One above an eight. Alright. Alright, so that's three. So we're gonna move the elf over here. And the elf is gonna shoot. He needs three plus initially. <laughs> Ah, you suck. Okay, so the Brightwoods is actually going to go. We have to go in hand to hand. All the dice seven. Ooh. Weapon skill is eight. Hit weapon skill eight. I need a ten. Excellent. So no. So then, seeing. So we got to see what's going to happen to that is move and attack so he's gonna have enough of the elf sticking it to him no he's gonna move and attack Swen because he sees him as the toughest and he's almost killed him with so let's go eight so he does hit. Let's go eight. No way, it's not a warlord, is it? Yeah, it is the warlord. I need seven, so that is a hit. Six points of damage come into Sven. Six, that's two. Nine. Eight. I can't remember if it's. Is it, do you have to match, or is it above? Please be above. If it's above, I got two points of damage. If it's under, equal to or greater than the toughness. So Sven is down to, he's taken three wounds. Brilliant. And then he has five. Flying Wick has a wound, so he has three left. So, it's not gone well. I'm not, I'm not completing this, by the way. Next, next level, I am dead. My go, might as well go in with Sren. Yep. Just one above an eight. Yep. Cool. Cool. We kill the champion what did I get so the assassin let's check out the gold and we'll open that chest the assassin had nothing on him excellent so but we have killed one of the characters perhaps I could have just done a leg it out of the thing downstairs Quest room, it was, was it three champions and one with all 120. I've got 300 gold in total now. So that's nice. And we're going to open the chest. Oh, which is something we haven't done in this game yet, which is search for treasure. Because you can't search a hidden treasure because for some reason it just hates you playing solo. Uh, I forget how to even find treasure. Treasure, here we go. Treasure chest table. Seven. 150 gold crowns. So 450 gold. And now we're going down to level two. And that will be the next video. This has been long. Hopefully we'll find the question quickly next time. So until next time, I'm going to clear up this, reset. And we'll start the next level level two thanks for watching guys hope you liked it please like subscribe let me know if i've done anything wrong i'm recording these all at once so it won't have any effect on level two
or the end of the game but I do want to play this in the future a lot more on the channel so if I have made a mistake let me know so for future videos we can get it right please like subscribe hit the bell for have notifications I'm exhausted and yet I've got to carry on to level 2 I'm going to get a drink of water I'm Porsche I've got Ugh.